What was the last investment you made? Was it investment in Bitcoin? Up and down, was it investment in building your business? Right, trying to save time? Did you buy a, a, a new contracting skill? Was it real estate? I mean, really think about this. Where did you make your last investment for money or for time or for energy? You know that this right here for what? You know, all those things that I just talked about, real estate, business, marketing, team, leadership, investing in yourself through coaches and seminars and books, like all those things are amazing. And all those things can help us. However, those things can disappear like that. Stocks can crash, teammates could leave you, businesses could like implode. But there's one investment of all the investments, there's one investment that can last forever. And that is this, the investment that you make into your family. Yeah, family, your spouse, especially your children. Look, I'm a father of three boys. I love my son, Zion, Israel, Judah. And if you follow me on social media, you will see pictures of me and my boys. And I wanna tell you why this is such a meaningful piece to me. When I was younger, I saw my parents get divorced and it ripped our family apart. Now, grateful, they're divorced, they're both remarried and our family is really, really good. But in that time that they got divorced, it did something to me, right? It began to let me know like, man, I, I don't ever want this to happen to me. And my parents came across from the islands when they immigrated to the United States. And so I'm a first generation born and raised here in the United States. The cool thing is, I'm a father today. And because of those experiences that were forged as a young child, I am clear about what I want with my sons. Like some of the things that September wants with my children, I want them to look up to me. I want them to be able to trust me and their mama. I want them to be able to come to us in those critical years, teenager growing up, and be able to express their concerns, their doubts, their fears. I want them to know that at home, home is a sacred place that they can be safe from all the craziness of the world. And what does this mean for you? Like your business, your stocks, your real estate, all that stuff can fade. In fact, it's very temporal. The investment you make with your family, with your children, that lasts forever. Like your children, they will always be your Children, they could, they could go change their name. They could go do the things that they say they're not, but they'll always be your flesh and blood. And I wanna share three ways right now that you can invest into your children, into your family, that will return for years, for posterity, for generation after generation. So years after you are buried in the dirt and dead and gone, your legacy continues. Number one, morning time. But I get it, right? Some of you, are, you are gone way before they get up. In my home, that morning time is sacred. What we do is really simple. My kids right now, they make their breakfast. They pack their lunches every day. I walk in from the gym. We sit down, we have some scripture. We try to get that scripture that we're studying the word. We say prayer, they hug and kiss mama. And daddy takes them to school. As soon as we get in the car, we rip off all these affirmations. We call it conscious of creation because they're reciting, right? I am a divine king full of love and light. I create my life. I'm 100% responsible. I mean, they go on for three minutes. Why? Because I want them to build themselves up and to know who they are. So number one, the morning routine, that morning time. Create some awesome rituals and routines. Like we listen to music, we jam in the car, we have conversation. As they're walking out of the car, daddy's like, who am I? And they're like, I'm a champion. Who am I? I'm a champion. I'm like, daddy loves you. And they're like, no matter what. Number two, your evening rituals. In our home, our rituals are simple. Shower, brush, floss, clean ears, clean room, hang towel, turn the lights out. You see how easy that comes up? Because they know that we've been training them. And then once they're done with all of that, you know what we do? We sit and read. We watch awesome videos on YouTube. We have conversations, we share what we're grateful for. We oftentimes kneel as a family, we hold hands, we share what we're grateful for, we say a prayer, and off they go. And I want 
to be the last voice that they hear before they fall asleep. I love you. I'm proud of you. Daddy cares about you. Morning ritual, evening ritual, and the third thing you can do right now is huge. Hug your kids every single day for at least 30 seconds. You might say, well, yeah, yeah, no, I mean like embrace them. Put their face on your face. Whisper in their ears how much you love them. Tell them how special they are. Tell them how incredible they are. And I tell my kids all the time that God's created you to do some amazing things. Like, and I look at them in the eye and I, and I make sure they it lands. Like, you're gonna do so many great things. I'm so proud of you. Of course, look, if they're making mistakes, you gotta correct that. And every time you correct it, show forth greater love. Like I'm telling you right now, don't be the person who brings your kids up, spends money on them, they become teenagers and they're like, nah, I'm cool, dad, I'm cool. I don't, no, you, you don't wanna spend time with us? I'm good. Build the trust now. And if you're watching this video and you have kids that are teenagers, it's not too late. Go to work. Find ways you can spend time with your children. Date your children, date your spouse, hug them every single day, every single day. Tell them that they ought to hear a thousand times a week. I love you. I'm proud of you. You're doing great. Keep up the good work. The investment in my family, for me, is the greatest investment I can make. Because my family, long after the businesses, long after the money disappears, my family name, our family culture, will continue on for generation upon generation. So here's my question for you. Which family member today, right here, right now, can you be like, I'm gonna go start with them? Look, if this message resonates with you right now, like if you're like, man, I, man I'm kinda short with my children, I'm not doing this, what I want you to do, there's a link below here, click it. There's like, I'm gonna give it to you for free. I call it power parenting, right? It's how you can be a powerful parent to establish and create trust. So you can actually communicate in a way that they get it and you can listen so that they feel like they're understood and they'll want to share more with you, right? It's be able to talk to them so they'll want to talk to you and how to listen so they'll want to talk more. Click on the link. Get that. Why does this matter to me as a business owner, as an entrepreneur? Because I believe as entrepreneurs, 100%, the greater parents that we are, we access opportunity and possibility to be greater leaders, be, be able to be better business owners. So I wanna help you as a parent. And I know that if you're happy there, you give yourself a chance in the business world. Click on the link, do it now, and I can't wait to share with you Power Parenting. And by the way, tell your kids, Uncle Satema, the big guy, says, what's up?